Yo, what is up, guys? Faze Shen, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And today, I am actually going to be doing something different. Now, if you didn't know, um, World of Tanks Blitz is obviously the channel theme of this uh, of this channel. Basically, it's a, it's a game of the channel. And uh, War Thunder is a very similar game. And until now, they haven't had a mobile version of their game. It is only sold PC and console. However, lately quite soon i think it's maybe a month old or so war thunder mobile has been out and actually it might be longer than a month uh, so today i thought you know let me just check out war thunder compare it to world of tank splits because obviously i've played world of tank splits for years it's about 11 years now that i've been playing world of tank splits and i've never really liked war thunder because it's a completely different type of game the the mechanics and everything are a lot different so yeah we're gonna go through it and i'll give you my honest opinion on what i think about war thunder i have played it a little bit so um, I, it wouldn't be my first impressions but uh it's bas I'm still basically brand new to the game. I've only played maybe 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, this is still basically a brand new uh, experience for me. Uh, but as we load through here, it gives you, some, uh, gives you some tank previews. Now basically what War Thunder is, it's very similar to World of Tanks Blitz in a way that you control a tank. Uh, but I do believe you can play like airplanes and stuff. I think they're still going to release them into the game. But you can play ships as well. Um, so if you think about it, World of Tanks Blitz does have a has a ship game as well i completely forgot the name of it because i didn't really ever play it uh, but as you can see we are in the game here now if you want to have a look at my settings quickly we can go to the options page and then to graphics i'm currently running maximum graphics resolution to the highest and fps to 120. Uh, so i'm capping out all the specs and as you can see the game is definitely not a good looking game in my opinion i mean the graphics are there you can see them but there is a bit of artifacting and all of that i don't know if that's because um my tablet that i'm using is quite big and maybe this game is not optimized for that just yet so yeah it is a brand it is a pretty new game in that sense but as you can see this is the home screen of your of your game here and uh, you got currencies similar to world of tanks where you have your credits and you have your gold and then you also have a different currency here which i'm not sure what that is uh, probably some special currency uh, but basically uh the tech tree is a lot different i don't know much about the game so you guys might need to let me know on it but uh, it looks like it has premium tanks just like world of tanks does that you can buy for gold uh, here's the dicker max that we do have um in the game there's a kv2 1940 um i don't know everything they just pl plaster platoon on everything i'm not sure what they just plaster platoon on everything so i'm not sure what that could mean uh but yeah it looks like these are a bunch of premium vehicles that will probably earn you better credits and stuff i am currently on the pz4 so with that being said let's actually head into a game maybe but it looks like there's also a camp a campaign and stuff i guess that's just which which uh mode you want to use tanks or ships so as you can see you can play with ships which i'm not going to be going over in today's video let me know if you guys want me to to go over that but like i said there's a lot of buggy things going on as you can see when i scroll down there's a big black box at the bottom i'm not sh that's just like an artifacting issue yeah there's a lot of things that are going wrong with the game there's a lot of bugs that i've noticed so if you're a war thunder etiquette and you want to play mobile version i would kind of suggest you to um, to wait out connection to the server is lost huh that makes no sense if you guys don't know my setup i am using an ethernet cable straight to my my tablet so very weird that it says that i've lost connection but we'll see if we can get into a game here quickly okay we finally got into a, to a game it looks like um this actually took uh, way too much time a lot of things are going wrong i'm not sure why uh, but it looks like here when you join a game you can actually choose your loadout you can choose how many shells you want to take and stuff uh, before you actually get into the game so that's pretty cool so you don't need to just do it in your garage like world of tanks let's go to the battle and let's have a look at everything can i zoom out no i cannot okay well that's something to note already is that you cannot zoom out um this is basically your view and something very weird about it you can literally like drift in tanks here i'm not sure if that's how it, tanks really work but you know what we we roll with it so basically, it's similar in a, in a sense to World of Tanks that you have to capture a base. As you can see, A is over there, and then the enemy team spawns in front of us. Let's go. Hello, Adam. Adam's 0.20 kilometers in front of us. Oh, gosh. Okay, trees really slow you down in this. That's good to know. Um, I'm, my 
FPS is quite low right now, I'm not sure why. And just like Blitz, you need to shoot where it's green. As you can see, that little red, it goes red now and then. Like if I'm looking at the guy's gun, okay, that's my teammate, that's why it's blue. Okay, that guy's dead. Uh, my FPS is quite low. When I played this last time, it was uh, running at 120 solid. Maybe this is why, because I'm screen recording, that could be the reason. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's quite fast. The graphics are definitely not comparable to World of Tanks Blitz. Like, when I run full max graphics on, on World of Tanks Blitz, it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion, a lot a lot better visuals in my, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can push onwards, find where the enemy team is. As you can see, the top left is the map, and those little red guys I'm assuming are the enemy team. So uh, I'm going to go for it. It says you're, you're in the enemy zone, so you're visible on the mini-map. Okay, well, I don't care. I'm in a panther that drifts, man. Oh, God. Okay, I say that then get immediately stuck. Oh, Adam! Adam's right here. Let's shoot him in the rear. What I do think is pretty cool is that at the top, uh, you can see the visual of what you just hit, which I think is pretty cool. And you have a machine gun, which is also really cool. Uh, so you can, like, I, I guess, pummel them with, with bullets into the rear of their, of their tank and set them on fire, I suppose. Um, I don't know why it's taking 50 shots to, to kill this one player. Let's maybe shoot him. Apparently, I think you're supposed to kill crew members in this. So, yeah, like there, I just damaged some crew members. Um, and then here's a Chaffee. We might as well go for he him again. Now, the tanks, as you can see, are very similar to World of Tanks Blitz. They're using pretty similar tanks here. Um, I don't know if I should be using the machine gun. I really don't know. I don't know if it does anything. Maybe you're supposed to use it on breaking their tracks. I don't know. I'm just going to continue shooting um, where it's green into that chaffy it seems like it's taking a lot more shots than it should i don't know i know you're supposed to also hit like really weak spots i'm gonna go for there for amarak maybe yeah we actually hit it that's pretty cool a lot of the amaraks are i find that are in like a similar spot let's go for the chaffy again and we clear him now i will say that before you start playing i definitely suggest you to increase your uh what you call it uh increase your oh, i killed him one shot wow okay it looks like you need to shoot the m4 in the middle there uh, you need to increase your sensitivity because for some reason I, I guess War Thunder thinks that like people are playing on the lowest um, lowest sensitivity possible okay I might get ruined here I don't know if there's a hit bar a hit point bar I really don't know I haven't actually noticed any uh, can I break tracks with the with the minigun I don't know like I do like some aspects here with the minigun I think it's kind of cool to have like a little minigun on your on your tank but the thing is, with War Thunder, there's no hit points, so it's it's not your traditional RPG like World of Tank Splits is. You basically just want to aim for like weak spots, and if you can train yourself to know where all the weak spots are, you can immediately kill everybody every single time. Like there's the Amarak on that tank, I just know that from Blitz as well, um, and you can just kill people with one shot. So, in that sense, I don't think it's as competitive as World of Tanks Blitz is, but. That could I could be completely wrong. Maybe it, this is just like a teething part of the game. Maybe I'm just versing really easy targets that Amarak very easily. Unless that is just how the game is and you can just Amarak people instantly. I don't know. Uh, but the enemy team can see me. At the bottom of the screen, there's also like you can repair your tank. I don't know if I should because I don't even know where my hit point bar is. Um, my tank's not moving anymore. Don't know why. Did I get stuck? Is my track broken? What? What's happening here? Oh, it looks like something's getting fixed. Oh, uh, maybe when I'm repairing my tank, I can't move. That's a bit weird. Okay, well, I'm learning, I suppose. And I do find the controls to be quite junky. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm look where my joystick is, and it's not turning. Now it's turning. Awesome. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't really follow where you're pointing. So, the game is definitely, like, in an early... It, although they don't say it's in beta, it really feels like it's in beta. And why does my tank turn, like, so... Like, on a such a sharp turn? I don't know. It looks like you get, like, uh, help. Like, you can shoot things down. I, I definitely need to test that in the next game. Let's try that. My ping is quite high as well. 260. And that's a bit higher than World of Tanks Blitz as well. Uh, it looks like we did the highest on the team, um, I suppose. And we get all these rewards. Great, you have reached level 2. And we get... Oh, you get gold for winning battles? What is this? Isn't this, like, a gold currency? So it does look like you can earn the premium tanks for free if you if you play enough battles, I suppose. Um, that kind of looks like it. It says I can get the M4, but I'd rather maybe go for the this next line, the PZ. 
I don't really know how this really works. Do I need to after I get the PZ? Do I need to get the Dicker Max to to get the Tiger One, or is that just after I get the PZ I can get the the Tiger One? I don't know how this really works. Let's see what the top ten uh, top tank is for this line. Apparently, we go from German tanks to Italian tanks. We go to the OF40. I don't even know what this tank is. Uh, it doesn't look like I can even look at the tank. Or oh, my game just froze. I don't know. Can we look at the tank? My game just freezes when I press on when I press platoon to to look at it. So I guess okay, I guess it's loading. Oh, I need to download it. That's weird. I need to download the tank to look at it. Okay, weird choice. I'm gonna purchase this tank, which is the PZ4G, which is a is an increase in in level. So I don't want to link my email. Please don't spam me. I don't know what it is, but they keep linking, trying to link my email or something. Um, and it looks like I need to download the tank I just just got. That's a bit weird. Okay, so heading into our next game here with the PZ4G, which obviously is the next next tank in the in the line. I want to try out these like abilities at the bottom. I don't know what they really are. It looks like my teammates just spawn in front of me. I don't know if if like random people can join your game in the middle of it. So can you start with like? Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Can you start with like a, a small amount of players and then like slowly join up? I don't know how this fully works. I'm just gonna go for the base. See if we can spot anybody over here. Um, I don't think there's a spotting mechanic. I think if just if someone's in front of you, you're gonna see their name tag and you can shoot at them. So it's somewhat like realistic battles in World of Tanks Blitz in that way. Oh, wow. Okay. This is the first time I've been killed. A comet killed me. Negotiable beauty. Wow. All right. That's the first time I've actually died in this game. That guy hit my Amorak and I died instantly. And it shows you how you died as well. Uh, the Comet also died, apparently. All right, let's try that again. So it doesn't look like you immediately spot people. It looks like you just... You just... If someone sees you, you, you get shot at. And I guess you need to look at them in order to spot them. Um, they do pop up on the map, though. So I don't know how this really works. It looks like there's someone in front of me. But I cannot see them. I think they're the, behind these like obstacles over here. Let's go see if we can ruin somebody. Now, obviously, like I said, I think this game is literally just aiming for Amorax and killing people instantly. Like, blowing them up. So, it's a lot different to World of Tanks Blitz. And this is, in my opinion, what kind of, like, puts me off the game. Is I'd rather play World of Tanks Blitz with that MMO type of playstyle play where you can just, um, like, you have to destroy the enemy team by lowering their hit points rather than just aiming for weak spots which you can do in blitz as well like breaking their tracks and all of that um, we got mr. player over here someone shot me from the rear really oh there's someone shooting me from the rear man this is such a weird okay I'm getting ruined I never know what what's happening because like everything is all over the place the enemy team can spawn around you. I can't even move my tank right now. I'm not even sure why. Can I... Can I do something? Can I place bombs on that player? Let's see. I think he's like this guy over here. Oh, I didn't even get to fire it before I died. Wow. See, this is what makes it less fun to me. Is that one shot can ruin your game. Your play. Because like he shot me once. That killed my crew. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even move. Um... Yeah, but that's that's what kind of makes it less of a skillful play as well. Because if you can kill people with one shot, oh, do I just return to hanging out? Do I not get to play again? Okay, it looks like you get two chances to play, and then if you screw up, then that's about it. Oh, okay, well, I think this video has gone quite a while. Let me know if you guys want me to do another video on War Thunder, but. First of all, my, my current opinion on the game, I did zero damage that game while well. I really did not do well. So let me know if you guys want me to do another video on War Thunder. Maybe give it another shot. Maybe I'm missing a few things. You guys will just need to let me know um, how to what I what I should just take take note of and, and learn about the game. But basically, my current opinion is it is kind of feeling like a beta beta game because there's a lot of bugs that happen like sometimes i just lose connection all of a sudden and i am i do have really good internet so let me know if you guys are experiencing the same thing but i do like some aspects it does look like like i can earn the gold currency for free and maybe get some some premium tanks for free which is a pretty sweet thing but world of tanks splits also allows you to get free gold pretty easily so yeah, I wouldn't really say that that is a better thing than World of Tanks Splits. World of Tanks Splits is a lot more fluid. It is an older game, so it does make sense, but it's
it's not like War Thunder is brand new to to making games. They have been making games for a very long time, and War Thunder is a very old game as well. They just need to like maybe improve the fluidity of the game, but right now it does look pretty sweet. The graphics, like I said, are not comparable to World of Tanks Blitz. Blitz is a lot prettier in my opinion, and a lot of the game mechanics I don't personally like because I don't like that you can just ruin someone's game just by shooting one shot at them and they amarak or they're dead which can happen in all the tanks blitz but blitz is a lot more competitive and there's more strategy to the game where i find like in war thunder i'm just driving forward and hoping i see someone and then shoot them once and they're dead and the ability for the enemy team to just spawn around you it makes you kind of confused to where the enemy team is coming from uh like in that last game i was they were like literally all around me and i didn't know where they were coming from maybe that's just a brand new um because I'm a brand new player, I've not really experienced into knowing the map uh, awareness and all of that to know where they're coming from. But yeah, right now there's also not a lot of places where I can go hull down, it doesn't look like. So there's a lot of mechanics that don't really apply um, in this game that they do in World of Tanks Splits, which kind of puts me off because I don't see that you can side scrape. It looks like someone can just shoot you one time in the side, hit your ammo rack, and you're dead. So. Yeah, personally, not a big fan of it, but maybe I need to try it one more time. So, like I said, leave a comment down below what you guys think of War Thunder, and also if I should do another video. And also leave your your like comments on what I can do to improve uh, my gameplay on it, because currently I don't look to seem, I, I don't look like I know what I'm doing, and that is because I don't. So yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I greatly appreciate it. And with that being said. Hope your shells hit their marks and I'll check you in the next one. Cheers.